Rumble Renekton Benz versus Zika. Lucian Zyra MF. I really liked Scoots Yone. I really liked it. I would love to see Scoots Yone again today. I mean, it didn't look that good against uh, against Tess, but... Okay, they're going to first pick Corky. Of course they are. All right, what are we cooking, Denny? What are we cooking? I've been a big fan of Tarzan's and Lilia. Big fan of Tarzan's and Lilia. Shahu was playing Zeri before, right? I mean, Weiwei has Maokai if they want to play a Corky comp. But I wonder if Tarzan's going to snatch up the Lilia. Do you b I, I have seen teams not blind Lilia when Maokai is open for some reason. And I get I can kind of understand why, right? But I, I thought that jungle matchup, even though it's annoying for Lilia to play against Maokai, it's like good for Lilia, isn't it? Maybe the fights are just too too much. Also, Cream was playing Tristana yesterday. Why aren't people playing... Ooh, Tarzan Nidalee game one. What the hell? I really think, the, my opinion, the best pick into Corky is Lucian. And if Lucian is banned, I think the best pick into Corky is Smolder. I just think it is. But Cream was convinced that it's Tristana still. Estriol Leona is horrible, bro. Oh my god. Braum is such a good pick, man. Oh my god. God. Why do people play Estriel Leona 2 3? Why do they do that? Why don't they just play like Estriel plus jungle and then just drop support? Everything's open. Why do you have to pick Leona now? Knowing Weibo, they're probably going to swap off of Braum, even though Braum's. Okay, thank God. Chris would be like, no, I can play like. um, I can play Nautilus. No, you can't. You can't. All right, well, they can ban mids. I mean, do you ban. What are you banning against Shahu? Because I can tell you for a fact you don't ban Yone. What's good with Nidalee here? There's the Maokai ban against Weiwei. Like I said, Maokai with a Corky. So there's the Shaohu Zeri that I was talking about as well. Do you, what do you ban? That's what I'm considering. What do you ban second? Like, Zeri's an easy ban against them. Because Lucian's down. But do you take away the Banana Yone? Or do you take away a, a Smolder? Or do you take away Tristana? Is Weiwei going to play Sechuani? I hope not. They do ban the Tristana. Okay. What you got for me, Shahu? What you got for me? What you got for me? Is it Smolder? Is it Banana Combo Yone? Is it Jace mid? Jace doesn't seem too bad. But uh, is Shahu engaged? Is he engaged? Was that a fucking engagement ring on his finger? Oh my god, it's Banana Yone. Oi, 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 oi. The last time I saw Shaohu Yone, it was rough. Now, rumors have told me that Shaohu Yone has been getting good. But I'll believe it when I see it. I... Is it... Is it... No shot. Okay, I was gonna say. There's no way they're blinding Orn, right? Mm, I don't like Sion either. Sion? Really? Yeah, Kennen. Yeah, I don't like Kennen with this comp. Unless, are they gonna play Vi? Please don't play Vi. Oi, 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 oi. Oh, uh, I don't like Ken and Vi with champs like Corky and Ezreal. Oh my god, it's Breed's Ness this time, baby. Triple range champ into Kennen. Oh, hell yes. Nessus just counters Kennen so hard, no? You press W when that sucker tries to go in. Bro, he's stunned. He's in a ball of lightning, but he's fucking ground dead, basically. The cannon can't teamfight against fucking Nessus. Putting fucking... Like, it's literally like throwing a banana behind you in Mario Kart against this cannon. Nessus W counters 75% of lead champs. And it's true. Is it Weiwei's first ever top four? What? Really? Oh yeah, Weibo got knocked out, didn't they? They got knocked out against LNG in a game five, didn't they? Otherwise, they would have made top four last year. Was it LNG that knocked out Weibo last year? In playoffs, it was, right? Boom! Make sure you like and subscribe. It's a good question. Uh, I don't know. I really like champs like Smolder with Ken and Vi, actually. Or Kai'Sa. I don't like Estriol, Leona, Corky. I like Ash with Vi, Kennen as well. Ash, Vi, Kennen. I'm a big fan. I love this Nessus pick. Is he playing no skin Nessus? No, he is playing skin. I was going to say, is he playing no skin? That would be disgusting. Why Nessus top? So Nessus top is being played into Kennen because Kennen can't really bully him much in lane. And uh, Nessus can actually push Kennen in with his Emax Airy. And uh, yeah, Nessus W on Kennen in teamfights is horrific to play against. I mean, Kennen, Kennen is relying really heavily on move speed and mobility. And uh, yeah, I mean, Nessus is... I'm surprised he's not playing with Ghost. A lot of these Nessuses are playing with Flash. I thought Ghost was where it's at. But I've seen Nessus get the push into Kennen whenever he wants it. With three points in E, GG. So the way you max Nessus is you do three points in E, then you max Q. And then when your Q is maxed out, you max W. And you leave your E on three points.
All right, Xiao Hu Yone. Last time I saw this, I puked. Was it Xiao Hu Yone plus Light Ziggs last year or some shit? I just remember it as being horrific. Weiwei is backtracking to contest top grab. And he spotted Weiwei as well. Finds the spear. Looks for a 1v1. Waits for the Q to come through. Before getting that red Oh my god, that was a clean spear by Tarzan. Coming up through the execute from the Q's not quite enough. The spear. Oh my god. Q flash from Chris forces him back. So I think... I wonder if Tarzan cleared down and then rematched top because he knew Vi would go here. And how he knows his Grump's up as well. He must... I think he knew Grump was up because blue buff was warded level 1 for Weiwei. And he went blue to wolves to clear bot and he was level 3. Man, Weiwei is super out of it. Explain the banana combo for Yone. Oh, it's simple. Enemy champ is here. Yone presses E. Q3 misses and ult misses. <laughs> it's the banana combo. <laughs> yeah, this might backfire. I think they're not going to go for it. Man, jungle is a horror because now Tarzan can base and clear here. And he has ward here and ward here. These two wards are so powerful. He has his Grump respawn timer. He knows his raptors are up. Like, look at how much information this Diddly has. She saw Vi. She knows bot crabs up. She has a ward here. She sees Vi run through mid. He knows her raptors are up. Like, she he, she knows he's on crab right now. And then he's going to go to raptors. Like, he knows where he is for the next two minutes straight. And then after raptors, his only camp is Grump. Uh, is uh, Krug, sorry. And then maybe he can do this, this, and fight him on Grump. I don't know, he has so many options. He actually has a map hack on Vi for the next two minutes. Because now this ward is going to spot what Vi does next, right? If she runs down, then Nidalee can do this and do Drake because she has the base. Or Nidalee can do this. And she can cross to this or she can cross to this depending on top push or her support situation. So she sees pings. She knows Vi skipped. So now he knows Vi is going to, to, to grubs. He's going he's gonna to match him. Like Nidalee has a map hack and uh, it's crazy. Oh, Tarzan's so close to six. He's so close to 6, Tarzan. Oh my god, he's playing with fire here. What is he doing? He's actually 1v4ing. What is Tar Tarzan's a psycho? He's just running at them. What? He gets 6 off this and can maybe fight this Grump or what? Level 6 now, fights his Grump respawn. Oh my god, he has no smite though. But he makes Corky stay. Yo, Tarzan's being mega annoying. Wait, 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 not even close to 6. Now they're threatening a top dive, so Leona has to stay. Oh my god. He needs to have I don't know if they can dive top though. This looks kind of impossible. Maybe they're just keeping them here. Oh, the Ash Arrow is flying. Is that gonna hit? No. They're just poking. They're just playing dodgeball under the tower, and Tarzan's hitting every spear. Oh my god! Oh my god! I thought that was enemy Esrulot. Jesus. How annoying is this? They're just laning top. Oh, he tried to Q smite. Oh, he flashes with cat form. And now Hung's dead as well. And now moves in. Hung alone Bro, does Tarzan oh, miss? No. Holy no. fuck, Tarzan's literally is brutal this game. And he has all his top camps up. Top crab is spawning. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's gonna hit. Oh! oh. So close. <laughs> they should increase Ash Arrow move speed. Two shots towards top lane, How annoying is it to play top lane? Enemy AD is firing bullets at you. Fucking hell, piss off, bro. They should make it so you can attach your bird on your E to your ult. And then it helps carry it faster. Fact. Don't tell me I wouldn't be a good game designer. Or you can put your E on your R so it goes for, like, it gives more vision or some shit. Here it comes again. Dodgeball bot. Like, what is this? What is this dodgeball bot? How annoying is this? Oh my god, mama. Mama, 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 just can't miss. Gala dodges, keeps himself alive as Weiwei arrives. In the oh, he flashed on to Tarzan. Full send it. Oh, seven, buddy. Clean by Hong. Clean by Hong. That's a lot of gold to scoot. Uh, Tarzan was hitting. That is a Bluetooth spear. What? 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 He's behind the minion. It's a Bluetooth spear. Fix it. Fix it. That could have lost him the game, bro. What? Oh, the arrow. Bro, Light's got to lock in these arrows, man. Where is Where is he sending these arrows? Man, Breathe is the biggest winner of this game. He is actually so such a good spot. Like Zika's gonna get ten off this minion. 
Yeah, one of the now, the other. You'd expect but one look at Breathe, yeah. XP, he's it's almost 11. Do you believe First Blood Tower Wait, hasn't died yet? Chao, who should be the one getting First Blood Tower. Oh, he saw that ward, Breathe. You get three stacks for wards, right? Crazy, though. You don't get stacks for towers, though, right? You do. Do you not? You get 12 for turrets. Okay. Oh my god, Vi just got taken to Narnia. Actually, this Vi pick is doing work in fights. It's a disaster for them, and now Zuka is on a perfect flank with slicing Maelstrom. Shao Hu holds himself out for Bree. Yeah, he's just dead. Oh, Shao Hu, be careful. Oh my god. Why did... What happens there on the contest? Did Tarzan just go way too early? And I think Tarzan can make that play if he has stopwatch, maybe. Is he on board to kill the Herald? Is he going to crash? Tarzan is playing... Like, I think you can see... If, he's, if you watch his gameplay, he's playing very, very cocky. Like, that first Grubs contest, he was walking into four people, faking that he had three people behind him. Or well, he only had two. And he just did the same again, I think, where he's playing like, if you don't call his bluff, you're just going to be stuck in your own jungle. But if you do call his bluff... Ooh, bit of a wasted arrow again. Then uh, you are gonna get a free kill. He's trying to play a bit too crazy. Uh, it's impossible to fight. There's a cannon level 11 with flash up. It's like, and they have no exhaust. Absolutely impossible to fight that. Bluff, he's in thing. I think you can read that he's actually just bluffing. Man, LNG just LNG just pick Vi and ult first target when it's up and it works. Ooh, here comes one counter play from Weibo. This is their first actual team play, I think. So Zika's gonna die. But is Tarzan gonna die? Oh my lord, he kills both of them. He kills both of them. Oh god, it's such a horror for Weibo. The Nessus and Yone ran past the cannon thinking he was already dead. Maybe flash E kills. But is he out? The trap? Oh my god, the trap would have killed him with Leandris. Flash E, does it kill? No, it doesn't. Oh my good god, lightning rat. Yeah, they've just... The game has gone out of control now. If they had gotten that playoff and actually got a couple kills, they'd be fine. I do like LNG, but... Um, that's mainly because of Hong. I really liked Hong when he was on FPX back in the days. Maybe OG LPL coach and watchers will know that I was a hung enjoyer. And seeing him succeed is nice, but otherwise, I'm not really tired to anyone else. Seeing Weibo win is nice as well, though. But don't win too much, okay? Actually, there's not much they can win, right? They'd have to win worlds to beat it with the Shy, the roster with the Shy. They'd have to win worlds, because they already made finals with the Shy. They just need to win one game in a world final. Well, that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. Is it sad how irrelevant RNG became? Yeah, I mean, they just slowly lost their best players, right? So, like, when they lost Shao, who everything went downhill. They lost, I mean, they had Bin at one point, but they had to give him back. They had Shao, who, they lost Shao, who, they lost Gala, they lost Wei. And I think LNG have just realized, what the fuck are we doing on bot tier 2 sieging? I don't think they have the damage for it, but the idea is really good. Oh, he cannon has no flash. Oh, finally, an arrow from light that hits. I feel like Weibo right, might LNG, have to just force, but they're not going to do it. They get the pick, but so what? Two item Ash now, sure. Man, Shaohu's Yone has been invisible. This Corky is so strong. I feel like it's kind of tricky for LNG to do Baron, but they have insanely good turns. So I wonder if like starting and turning looks really good. Oh my god, look how my traps are on the floor. It's absurd. Can they just ult Crisp here and kill him? Is it worth it? Yeah, but they, they, he really wants to ult Tarzan there, wait, wait. I wonder if he just ults Brown, that they just kill Brown for free. The problem is, the second you lose Violet, it's really hard to finish Baron. Man, Warmox is so OP, I, I hate that item. Nasus on side lane does look like quite a problem, actually, because this bot tier 2 is dead. Ooh, Weibo have some good pace on the map, look at this. They are pushing top, they have even mid state, they are pushing... Oh, he's dead. Now they have to base and TP topside and force ASAP. As far as Cork is not TPing and they start Baron. They can Violet and uh, uh, Cannon's in a great spot. No forcing, he's just going to go to red. So I guess they're just standing there. They don't even have a pink in the pit. Like they have no pinks, they have to base. They need pinks. Look at this topside control from LNG. They have zero pinks on topside. Zero. None. 
Are these teams qualified for Worlds? Uh, no. If they win, they don't qualify for Worlds either. So what's the point? Well, the loser gets knocked out and the winner pays against top esports for a world spot. We is Breed caught here. Yes, Sterex. He can stall a little bit, but not long. Cannon still has R flash. And LNG find themselves a pick once again. Way, way wants yeah, to top tier two, uh, tier three looks quite easy. Easy. Weibo aren't out of the game yet. You know, the, the thing that Weibo need to do now is stall their bases because Crisp is already basing, right? And they're stalling Hung. Crisp can come out bot first and put. He cancelled his base. Why did he cancel his base? Crisp should have been base already, running out with fresh wards for the Drake fight. He cancelled his base from here, ran to here, and then based again. Maybe he was scared they're on Baron. Really struggling to but he needed to be basing before Leona. And they need to go here. But what LNG could do is just go with Baron on the soul point, right? It's really frustrating it's position for Weibo, but it's not the end of the world. Is this damage? Is this... Is this? I know that he's going like Jack Shaw or some shit, but does he even do damage right now? Like, what the hell? Here comes the LNG Baron force. It's actually not that bad. Weibo can stop this kind of easily. I don't think Weibo... Oh, why does he arrow the Leona like that, though? I don't like what Light's doing on this Ash. Oh, Xiao is going to kill... Oh, he did. He got the ult, but yeah, no flash. Uh, flash still up, sorry. He does give Cloud Soul? I don't know. Oh my god. Scout just combo breathe with QR auto. Look at his health. Yeah, it's gone. Just give it. Just give it. Like. Uh. Oh, nice E by Shao. Yeah, it's lost. Unless Nasus is OP as fuck. Oh my god, Nasus is OP as fuck. Nasus did so much work though, what? If Nasus had flash, he would kill them all. If he had flash, he would kill Gala as well. What the hell? I'm sick of Corky. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. He's getting away with too many of them. He's winning too many games. He's too broken. I'm gonna first pick Corky. We've tried for years to try and find a counter. There is none. It's too broken. We're gonna change Corky to make him more of an AD carry. Becomes an even stronger mid laner. Fuck! Look at Nasus in this fight. He starts the fight with half health, right? Light's gonna walk up and they exhaust. Now look at look at Nessus. His first Q gets Zonyas. Boom, Leona dead. Boom, Kennen dead. If he has flash here, boom. Now he flash Qs Ezreal, dead. Motherfucker would have killed them all. How many stacks? 483? It's pretty bad at 30 minutes, isn't it? 483? I'm not sure though, I'm not a Nessus team. I feel like he should have at least 650 right now, no? Don't you like, isn't it like 2.5 every 10 past 30 minutes? Oh my god, Zika stopwatch. He thought he was going to hit him. Oh, Xiaohu got a good ult, but he's just one tapped. Here comes Nasus, though. <laughs> Look at Nasus. La la la. <laughs> he's actually almost killing Corky. <laughs> it's crazy, no? <laughs> Crazy, no? Easy win by LNG. Man, I feel like Weibo had that early game. So, I mean, look at it from his vision. Tarzan actually doesn't see anything. The W AoE thing doesn't see the Herald, so he spears. And the spear doesn't connect, so he jumps to check. And as he checks, he realizes... Ah, oh, shit. Then he walks up to take the pink. Oh, my, whoa, look how far forward he's going. If he stays at the back of the pit hitting the ward, he's fine. But look how far up he goes. Like, that already is a problem. I wonder if his camera is, like, here. And he sees Crisp is walking up to Vi. And he's like, yeah, yeah, go Vi, go Vi. But, like, he's not really registering everything else. Like, Leona's missing. His top laner's far. His mid laner doesn't really, like... He can't just TP instantly, right? So now it's like... A... Flashes out, jumps out. He dies. Crisp dies. Jahu TPs in, right? This is the state. Like... The thing is, I think Weibo just fails to realize, well, Tarzan fails to realize here, here, what should be clocking in his head is, I don't want to bring my Yone here. I want to bring my Yone into a bot tier 1 kill. Like, bot tier 1 should die. Ash has mid push. Maybe Ash can push and hover down. Braum can run down. He should just come out and clear his camps and bot tier 1 dies. So essentially what happens is, they force this fight. Now Yone's TP'd in for nothing when he could have just pushed bot and gotten first blood tower bot. Like, they, they need to think of the cross map quick. Cross map. Boom. Herald's gone. Okay, what can we do? 
Because what you're going to do there is, what, force a fight, maybe? Sure, but you could also just push bot and get a free objective. The cross map would be really good there for Weibo, but they didn't get anything out of it. So what essentially then happens is that the map just evolves into madness. Yone TP into... Like, like this sequence of plays is horrible, no? They're even in gold. If anything, they're, yeah, they're even in gold. They lose Nidalee, they lose Braum, they lose Yone TP, they lose Nidalee Flash, they use Exhaust, they use Yone ult, then Nasus dies. So Nasus is dead and he uses ult. Then Yone dies under tower and they lose top tier ones. So they lose first blood tower, Herald, three, four kills. And Ash is running bot to try and get this bot tier one at 50 minutes. Herald crashes on the top tier two. Ash finally gets bot tier one. And because Ash gets bot tier one, because Light realizes the only thing he can do in this situation, which is correct, like his team's dying, right? Light's like, I have to cross map something, right? If I run mid, I'm not going to kill anything. I'll run bot because Ezreal will go mid. And I'll try and kill this low HP tower. He kills the low HP tower, but by the time he does that, this is dead. This is this is chunk. They've all based. They're already here because they have the Herald recall buff, right? So they're quick out of base. But now Light has to lose his flash. So they lost Ash flash on top of that. And then I think Light actually dies here in a mid. They get Drake. They get Drake. Then they get bot tier one. And Light dies. So in the space of three minutes, they've lost five kills. Herald, first blood tower, bot tier one, and Drake. Because they didn't cross map. And this is what happens if you don't cross map. If you lose on one side, you'll lose on the other. Like if you're winning here, yeah? And I can go here and win. And oh, and then to rub it in, this happens. Where Xiao who sees this and thinks, yeah, Ken is dead for sure. I'll try and kill their uh, their Vi. Cannon 1v2s them. So it's seven kills. And they use they use Nasus TP. And Yone ult and Nasus ult. Everything's being used here, right? You can see it all here. And Cannon gets out. So, and Estriel took mid tier one. Oh my what? What? So I'm gonna pause it here. 1748 into the game. They're almost 4k down, two drakes, a herald, and three towers, okay? Two minutes. Two minutes before. Zero towers, even gold, one drake, two kills. That's crazy, no? In the space of 70, in the space of two minutes, they lost seven kills, two objectives, and three towers. That is bonkers, no? The way the game works in League is if you're making a play here... I have to make a play here. If I gamble and fight you on this play, and you still make it work, and I die, you can beat me to this play, right? So, this is why cross-mapping is slow, and normally a lot of league games are just slow, right? A lot of league games are just slow, because why? You take top tower, I take bot tower. Okay, now you take my bot tower, I'll take your top tower. Okay, now let's play 3v3 mid and both just clear waves in front of each other's face. Oh, dragon spawn and let's take a team fight. Mm, doesn't look too good, I'll back off. Why? Because you just trade, trade, trade. This is what a game looks like when you don't trade. And you just run head first. Herald's here. We could take bot tier one. No. Let's fight the Herald. Tarzan dies. Crisp dies. Let's salvage the play. Nasus dies. Yone dies. Tower dies. Okay, let's get bot tier one. Okay, well, they're faster out of base now as well. So now this dies. I die. And because we're all trying to cover this, this dies. And it's just... How do I make it... It's like you, you gamble on something and then you double down on your mistake. It's like you lose double, you know? I, I defend my top tier one, I don't defend it, it dies, and I lose my bot tower, it dies, and now I've lost here and here instead of just trading one for one. Instead of trading one for one, you're kind of trading like two for zero, you know? Does that make sense? It was a horrendous series of plays. And also in pro play, like, I don't know if you have it in solo queue as well, you have the int effect, right? Where people's brains are... Some people have it extremely bad, and they're like, I'll save us, you know? That's the extreme version. The other version is like, I'll see what I can do. And you have this the, this mindset in League sometimes in pro play where it's like, yes, you died, but I'm TPing in and I'm really strong. Tarzan makes a mistake and Chris makes a mistake. They die. Shahu TPs in to save it. Breed dies. Shahu thinks he can like save the play here for some reason while Breed's dying. Oh, maybe we can kill Kennen and one for one. While well, he gets chunked and now his base is going to get cancelled because they're going to chase him. Now he dies. Now top tier one's dead. And now Light's like, I'll save us. I'll take bot tier one so we get an objective off of this. So Light goes for bot tier one with Crisp and calls him down. And then in comes Vi, who has a Herald recall, which he didn't account for. So now Light loses his flash. And now in comes Tarzan, like, I'll save us. So we'll play the 3v3. But actually what he did is bait Light into staying and they're losing their mid tower as well soon from Ezreal. And then Light ends up dying because Tarzan rocks up. And now 
Now Breeze pushing top and he's like, I'll save us. So he TPs in and tries to save the play and ends up losing another two people for Weibo and they get nothing. And then mid tier one dies as well. And it's like, the way League works sometimes is there's a train and it's on, a, it's on some rails, you know? And the train's going at a certain speed. Someone's driving the fucking train. It's called the inter, in train. Yeah, someone's driving the in train. It's going at like 20 miles an hour. He's completely inting it. And he's, he's, it's going faster and faster and faster. And more people start boarding the train because they can stop the train. Bro, just stop boarding the train. Now, cut it off. One person's dead. The train's gone. Don't join the train. Just, it just count it as a loss. It's like, in, maybe if you're gambling and you lose 10 euros, you're like, well, if I, if I put 10 euros on and lost 10 euros, if I put 20 on, if I put 20 on and I lose, then I'll put 40. And if I lose that, I'll put 80. And if I lose that, I'll put 160. And if I lose that, I'll put... And eventually, I'll win my money back, right? Right? No. You're just chaining them. Ziggs, Yone, Zyra. Wow. Ziggs, Yone, Zyra, blue side. Is it first pick Corky? Alright, MF Lilia is no surprise. MF Lilia is very common. You can do red on three. You can do Zeri on three. It's really good here. You can do Yone on three. Some really good picks here. Corky, yeah, Brent could work. Um, they could also just pick an early Cassante for Breathe. They're gonna run back to Nidalee. I'm surprised. Maokai's good against Lilia. I'm surprised if they run back to Nidalee. Wow, Tarzan's on tank duty after game one. People still do Tristana. And I get that you can play Tristana into Kennen, but the last time I saw Tristana into Kennen in Test BLG, they just fucking altered Kennen into his team. Maokai, Kennen. They could play Senna and then play a jungler, but I don't really like it. The reason I don't like it is because you have AP top and AD mid, so there's no jungler that slots in perfectly. Like I Vi could work. You could do Senna Vi, but is Maokai, Senna Vi, Kennen, Corky? Mm, I think I would much prefer if you just did like Senna Nought or something. But yeah, I think Light would probably play uh, Estrel in this comp, uh, or Jin. I think Jin is very good in this comp. Ken and Maokai is really good with Jin. Also, you could ban Alistar here and just force a Rel ban and then take Leona. Ash ban is good, yeah. Ash is really good with Ken. Will Aurora be ready for Worlds? Uh, yeah, I think Aurora will be fixed for Worlds. I mean, she should be enabled for Worlds. Is it a Zika Jace? What are we thinking? Oh, Rise top into Kennen. I like he, I like he, I like he. What are we thinking, Chris? Jin Rel? Yeah, I mean, Alistar, I guess, then into Kennen Rel. Pretty simple. Scout is first timing Zeri, is he? Zeri is such an easy champ, though, I'm convinced. Oh, yeah, he is first timing Zeri. Wait, Scout played Malzahar this bit? What the fuck? I don't trust this Rise Top. I like Rise Top into Kennen Gregas. I don't like, I don't trust it, though. I feel like any draft with Corky Maokai is probably just winning, isn't it? So Jin took a, a base to get refillable there. As the wave is bouncing. I love it how Weibo lost game one and then just took LNG's comp, kinda. Kennen Corky? Okay, deal. We'll take Kennen Corky on blue side. This can't be good by Weibo, right? The wave... It's because their jungler was pathing top, I guess. The wave was held here and frozen. Well, it was more so bouncing. And then they took a recall for a refillable. But then when MF crashes on the bounce, she can recall and take a base for a refillable call. So isn't it better to just crash it? But maybe they thought they couldn't. I thought they could, though. They must have had no info on Lilia. He's gonna double crab. Ay, 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 ay. That's so annoying for Maokai. Just flash on his Alistar or some shit. Fucking so tilted to lose double crab. Can he Q smite it? Yeah, he should be able to Q smite this. Easy. We Hunk flashed in. Why, why, why did they flash in? Oi, 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 oi. Why did you think they win that? Off the snipe, clean by Lighter. Gala's dead too, it's a triple kill for Jin. Actually, does it kill him? Does Jin kill here? He should, right? Yeah. Fucking Jin reload, man. Can't believe it's season 14 and he has to reload his gun. Oh my god. Meanwhile, Jinx gets two resets on her passive and she's a fucking Gatling gun. And the wave's bouncing. Oh my god. Is, is it gonna crash? No, it's not going to crash. Oh my god, it's going to—it's not going to crash. Mama. Ma bot waves, fuck. Why is Hung Q flashing that guy? What's he expect Lilia to do? One-shot him? Eh? Eh? Q flashing a Maokai at level 4. 
What are you going to do to him? Oh, yeah, I got him. He's knocked up. So what? So what? Oh, good. Just don't get the... Don't get one tapped by a random Zeri W. I love how Gala has abandoned bot. His bot wave was so fucked, he actually ran mid. Respect. I love it when he carries through that. It's a classic. It ain't macro, bro. His bot wave was absolutely smoked. He ain't going down there. Now he's not allowed to enter either. Oh my god. It, like, Gala is completely so fucking... I would be so depressed if I was Gala. Scoots here. Krispy Kreme has flash though. Tarzan, does he get six? No, he doesn't. It's so unplayable. Oh my god, the Hong is dead! Oh my god, and he got presence of mind on Jin, so he has mana back, so Gala still can't enter bot. Bro, just press B and run top. I'm fucking out of this shit. Make it a top laner's problem. That's what normally AD carries do when their bot waves are fucked. Just run top. Just fucking abandon ship. Hmm. Chat, is it better for Kennen to have Conqueror against Ryze? Especially when he's doing a Merc Treads Roa Archangels. I mean, probably for 1v1, Leandri's Conqueror is better. But for team game, it's probably better to go uh, Electrocute Sex Tech Belt, right? But I do think uh, Conqueror uh, Leandri's probably kills Ryze, but I mean, look at Ryze's items now. What if Ryze RTP'd enemy too? Yeah. Think about it. Kind of no ult, 10 seconds on his ult. Oi, 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 it's so unlucky. They're gonna one for one it though. Ah oh, man, if Kennen had ult, I don't, did LNG time that? Nah, they must have just like I swear, Gala must have just abandoned bot and said dive top or open. <laughs> Convinced. Like he can't play the game. <laughs> like he's sitting on 50 CS at 10 minutes. Like he just runs top and says gotta dive top or it's lost. Hong has found this place in mid lane. Gala has found this place on top dives. Don't look at any carry levels. Yeah, he is, he is level and a half down. Can they dive him? Rice is actually scarily tanky sometimes. Ah, oh, Breed thought he was going dove. Kennen is so OP, I'm convinced. Is he dead here? Yeah. Ah, uh, wait, wait. Tarzan can't kill. Well, no, I suppose. <laughs> Talk about the fight, Joe. Yeah, I'm coming back to reality here as Zika <laughs> gets the, the classic play. Does he die? Okay. This time it's on. Turrets again. Like, My head was completely dizzy. Sure but this MF is still 2k down. Gala's found they his place in mid lane. Absolutely Kalen abandoned this game after that bot 3v3. I told you, any draft with Corky Maokai, I know Jin's 2.5k, but. Whoever has Corky Maokai is just destined to win. Like, you have sinned by being so shameless that you're playing Corky Maokai, so just take the elo and you're cringe. Like, this is just modern day league. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, big one. Big one from Breathe. Exhaust was a little late. Maybe Wei Wei lives though. Oh my god, dearest Cartus, please press your R key. Oh my god. Oh, no TP on Shaohu. No TP on Shaohu. Oh, it's a horror. So how does LNG fight? They have four range champs and an Alistar. They have MF Lilia combo, sure. But it's, I, I feel like old school Rise top was like such a powerful side laner. But I just don't see it in, like, <laughs> nowadays league that Ryze can fit in, like, a, a side lane. Like, they're down two drakes, drakes in two minutes. Ryze is gonna have to group. Ryze short, short trade WEQ. He has Comet as well for lane. Comet Ryze is lane phase. Ryze walks up, presses W, and runs away. <laughs> just so annoying. Down should be enough to secure yeah, it, it dies. Goes for the call to make sure no One minute before Drake. Oi, 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 oi. A couple of pixels to the left, and I might actually hit MF because of that angle. Corky Maokai Jin. And also, uh, I'll never forget playing in a, not in a knockout best of five in 2017, and Jin just got released, and I played against Varus Jin, Varus mid, with Jin AD, and they were sieging our mid tier 2, and I'm just getting fucking blasted by skill shots on cooldown. Good damage from Oh, they exhausted Corky! Hey, 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 they just exhausted Corky, and Kennen's gonna base TP! Hold up! 
Hold up. Nah, he's not gonna TP. He's not gonna TP. Actually, you know how base it would have been if Ryze TP'd on that pink? And then he joined Lilia and ulted her out and they both recalled? Wouldn't that be the coolest thing ever? Yo, cue the Titanic music. That would be so fucking wholesome. This Jin build, this meta, yeah, Ruler or Justice build as well. Uh, everyone loves this build. I don't know if it's the best Jin build, but it looks like the most common. It's static, rapid fire, I... I think, for me, it looks very weak until you get IE. And when you get IE, I feel like the Jin is really OP. But what is the opposite? What is the, what is the alternative? Is the alternative like Collector? Collector rapid fire IE or what? Is it just you drop the static? Collector IE rapid fire? Is the attack speed not useful? You don't need attack speed? There are memories there, folks. There are there are some dark magics being sighted here. Tarzan walking in one beat. For AD. Was it worth it? Yes, it was. He flashes away and Chris gets a great engagement. Wait, they're actually kind of fine here, LNG. What the hell? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Chad. Yeah, I said attack speed into AD. Is it not good? He's not gonna get anyone. Oh my god. Classic Rice. I'm chasing. My favorite thing with Rice is ulting your support behind them. Like, I love seeing that. Cannon counterpicks are the most fake thing ever. Yeah, of course. The only counterpick to Cannon is five exhausts. Because Cannon will run into a fight, 0-7, and he will press R, flash, proto belt, and he will one-shot someone. It's just the law. Like, way, way stopwatch here, which is nice, but he will find an angle at least once in that game, no matter how hard you've smashed him in a lane, and he will just one-shot someone. Wait, wait. No way is he going to flash Q steal this. There's no way. It's not happening. I refuse to believe it. Oh my god, Tarzan didn't even smite! What the hell? Tarzan didn't even smite, it was the fourth shot. Can't miss smite if you don't smite. <laughs> Can't lose a game if you don't join the lobby. <laughs> Wait, I'm undefeated at Worlds, true. Alright, now Jin has got his IE, he's absolutely busted. Much more about the split map, getting individual pieces what is the ratio of attack speed to AD he converts? Has anyone done the math on like how much AD you're actually getting off these first two items the versus going collector IE? I'm sure the math is done somewhere and like numbers wise, surely static RFC is good. It's good for wave clear. I mean, wave clear in pro play is very good. Wave, wave clear in pro play is one of the best things in the game. Having wave clear. I mean, if I think there, you'll probably see that if a champ doesn't have good wave clear, they're not meta. I, crisp. What the fuck did you just do? Uh, I, why is Zoe not meta in pro play these days? I think if Zoe had really good wave clear, she'd probably fit into this poke meta pretty well. But her wave clear is fucking cheeks. How is this a one for one? How is this a one for one? Ow! Why is Jace not being played? Because you can't build, you can't build Triforce or crit item on Jace. I don't know. I feel like double DPS is just OP. Having double AD carry in your comp somewhere is just OP. Like the damage output is crazy. Oh my God! My name's Kenan. It's time to one shot. It's time to one shot. No, Alistar! Look at Corky though, look at Corky! Oh my god, Corky. Alright, we got a series on our hands. I told you, chat. Corky Maokai, it'll win. It's like you enter a draft meeting in a pro team and you're like, so what do we play into this? Well, we could play like a, a hard engage comp. Okay, what are we playing this? Oh, yeah, we could play like a really good poke comp. And the guy at the back's like, what if we just play Corky Maokai? <laughs> and they throw him out the building. <laughs> Leona first pick for LNG, Weibo banned the Cork E, Cannon Maokai, and then AD mid on three. It's pretty good, that's pretty good. Ooh, I like the Ivor in the Zaza jungle matchup. And then Tristana slammed. Ooh, what are you slamming to that? Zeri, yeah, 100%. Uh, 
This is a quick draft. I like it. I think very good by both sides. Very, very good. I would look to ban uh, AP junglers here. I mean, uh, not AP junglers, sorry, uh, ADs. Zix, yeah. Zix is a good one. Zix is a good one. Is Estrel a good one? Do we like an Estrel ban here, chat? Mm. I like Jin here again. The lightning rats. I just think you can't count Big Cannon. You can't do it. You can't count Big Cannon. It's too broken. Yo, it's just a Jin game, my pups, isn't it? Or you want to take away easy reel? Because if you don't take it, they go. If, I think if you go Estrel here, they go Kaisa, Leona. Or is it Caitlyn, actually? It's got to be Jin, right? I think Rel on floor into Leona. They don't want to show AD yet. I actually like that. I actually like that. Because Ash is open. I like that because of Ash. You could go Kaisa now, but I still think Jin is so super good. Or Ash is super good. I don't know if I like Kaisa. I mean, top lane, you could play Jace if Zika's confident. Otherwise, you're just going to have to play Kursante. He's going Rise again. Uh. No, no, uh, there is some mega announcements later on in the year, but there's none now. What the fuck? He flashed W'd him? What the hell? <laughs> Did this rat just try and walk in and yoink his raptors? Bro, that is such a good fucking feeling. Watching that mother sucker get caught like that. <laughs> oh my god. I like that. How do we win a game without Corky Maokai? Hmm, what if we play Jerry Maokai? Which one shot? Bro, I hate Ivern. Oh my god, scout with... Oh my god, Hung got the kill. Suko mucho, but I mean, Zeri loses the wave. I want more action, more fighting. I feel like both ADs are chilling this game. I want a similar game from last game, where AD can't play the game. Chat, I'm not gonna lie. I actually think Corky with AP items and package was more fun to watch than current version Corky. Like, at least he had some fun things where his rockets hitting would be fun and do damage. Or package, he would like run it down with package and it was funny. Now he just builds items and auto attacks and it's just even more boring and it's even stronger in mid. You know why? Because you can't int with package anymore. He did this exact same thing last game. He all in level 7 when he had no magic. Took him low, crashed the wave and roamed. Or based. Q flash is good. No flash. Shin ult cooks here, but Hung is so tanky. Again, another thing that annoys me. Leona W. Oh my god, Leona W. Is there a more broken spell in the game than Leona W? Crazy that Leona W is Alistar ult, basically. Okay, yeah, so. I'll never forget, I even saw a reel yesterday where it was like a Cassante W and then <laughs> and then Blitzcrank W slows himself. <laughs> Just <laughs> actually fucking trash. Okay, watch Leona here. Presses Q to Aftershock and now presses W. Look at Leona. La la la, we can't hit Leona. She pressed W. He's all in top again. Zika. I'm convinced, like, bro, you can't sleep on Kennen. You can't sleep on him. Kennen will just R flash, and it, no matter how useless it is, he's gonna want that. R to fight that. Kennen is ready on the TP button, and there's a Mega Ward here, right below them. There's a Mega Ward right there. But can he get it? Hola! Hola! I told you, Kennen is OP. They lost the fight. They lost. Where was the Kennen damage at? Oh yeah, one. I don't believe in it still, chat. I'm a hater. I still don't. I still. I still. I, I, I nope. I'm still not feeling it. But Rod stacking quicker isn't always a good thing because Rod guarantees a level and getting levels later in the game is harder. So early Rod, it's actually not as good. You kind of want to balance the Rod. Going from 15 to 16 is a lot harder from going from like 12 to 13, right? So the Rod actually getting it a little bit later is better. Man, these chin items do look absolutely fucking cheeks. Like, it does just look fucking trash, doesn't it? This guy has fucking Teemo slingshot as well. Like, where's the damage at? 
Where's the damage oh, at? How scammed did Shaohu get no, by fucking like Teemo? Yeah, you can take my slingshot. Give me 800 gold. How did Boris, like, buy in bulk that item? Crazy. Marasaka looked on Amazon or the new, mar the new market for, like, weapons. He bought Teemo's slingshot. Boris is clueless scammer. Really like what LNG have done here. They're going into the bot jungle now. Mm. Railwolf could come in. Mm. Hong, you're kind of doing the thing again where, like, you're like, look, 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 go, go, go. Actually, it doesn't matter. He's got Leona. He's pressed W. It doesn't matter. Leona pressed W. Why Boris is a GTA character, is he? Can we skip this series and play Monkey? No, we will play Monkey, though. La Sagrada Familia? It's not finished yet. On, Took them hundreds of years, but they haven't even finished it yet. <laughs> they finished it? They didn't, right? I, I don't know. <laughs> Ivor and double lady carry is what's scaring me for any of these comp. Ivor and double lady carry is what's scary, because they're ahead. I don't think... I really am convinced Rice is cannot be... This champ can't be real, right? Oi. Not bad by Breathe, but... Where's the damage from Weibo's carries? Basta. Oh, he did, he did it to the dragon prince. You have to flash out. Ow! The knock is not that good. Tarzan. Oh my god, he's shooting right in front of them. Garlas on the side. He's still firing bullets. Oh my god, the guy's got the shield. Oh my god, they won that fight, LNG. Oh my god. Light just held the ult. He just wanted to fire. He just he knew he was dead. He knew he was dead. Wait, I want to see the replay. Hold up. I want to see the replay. How did they turn this fight? Breathe's ult was good. It's because Zika and Gala were split trying to kill off uh, Tarzan, right? Hung dies. Breathe dies. But he gets stunned there by Kennen just before. It's light here. He's going to ult from here. But Gala's on the side. The flash from Tarzan was a bit, bit deep. They should have backed that thing and just taken this super two. He just sends it and hopes that... They can get two kills here before Gala kills him. Bro, he's committed. But he doesn't get the last shot off. Oh my god. Oh my god. But actually, if 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 if, if Light hit one ult and killed, Static Ship would have killed the other, right? He probably would have killed both with one bullet. Two birds with one stone, right? Such priority onto that top lane pick for Breathe, but it's not been working out. Now a chance for Breathe to show his quality. Won't quite find nice positioning for Xiaohu. Maybe playable here. Let's see the rise. Oh, it's Rice with him. Oh, Gala! Oh, Siri had such a good position there. It's another two for one. Wow, that positioning from uh, Chauhu was nuts. How did he get there? Did he just run around the side? Oh, he TP'd. Yeah, that, it's really good that he TP's because Maokai's with him. If Maokai's not with him, it's terrible by Zeri. But Maokai's right next to him. Serpent's fat, bro. Yeah, Light is doing no damage. Like, he is just no... Like, bro, they, they are just no damage, Andy. So where is the damage? How are they even going to compete against the, the damage? Hey, Kajol, does it make you an Olympian since the LEC finals is in the Olympic Park in Munich? I mean, is co-streaming classed as performing? If so, then I am an Olympic athlete. That could work. Oh, he W the ult. Phase rush? No, he's dead. Objective on the bot tier one is nice. Level 16 cannon is nice. TP ward is nice. Or it just expired. Maybe as an item in base, they can afford to drop top in it, but they can't afford to drop mid and bot because they're both exposed, so they can just they can just clean down. He's TPing here. Here he comes. I think Scoots can see him though. Yeah, it's over. It's over. The flank's not gonna work. It's done so. Oh, he's insta exhausted. Oh my god, he didn't get the bust. Yeah, they have no damage. No damage. No damage. 
interested ending the game. They want to no damage. The lives of the Weibo play. Yeah, I think that I've played Black with Wukong last night, and I swear to God, I'm starting to believe I shouldn't flame you when you play games. The game's not as easy as you made it look. You're a god gamer. They do manage to pick themselves up. Didn't come from me. Zucker, we saw this champion from him in that Didn't come from me. Didn't come from me. This time, topically, he's rise to the occasion. Didn't come from me. All right, give me the game four, quick. Yeah. I'm still okay. The rice worked. I'm still not convinced of rice though. I need to see more because I feel like he's a nice damage dealer to have, but I just think double AD carry Ivern won that game. Maybe I'm a hater, but I just. I Ooh, they banned Ivern on blue side. Oh my god, we're gonna first pick Malka with an Ivern ban. Ooh, what do you ban here, Chad? Renekton, Lucian, or. 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 Maokai. Lilia ban. Wow. So what's Weiwei's counter to Maokai? It's probably Brand, isn't it? Yeah, but Mark only has one A. Oh, okay. no, they value right, Lucian over Meowkai. Really? I guess Tarzan can play the brand. They took the Meowkai, nice. Is it Sejuani or what? Or is it Brand? Or Z Do you take away... No, you don't take away something like Zeri. Is it time for Scoot Scoot Zione? Or is it Scoot Scoot Azir? Well, we just said Ren Nekton had two syllables. No, it has three syllables, Renekton. There's the brand into Meowkai. Now. What are we talking here, Scoot? Hey, 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 can't hover that. Fine. Oh, Cassiopeia. Oh my god, the Malzahar hover. Nice shout out. Callista ban, Ash ban, nice. Yeah, I think again. Oh, Ziggs is down. You know what I think fucks really hard in this comp, actually? Seraphine Leona. Actually think it goes mega in that comp against Renekton Malkai. Thoughts, chat? Actually think Seraphine Leona goes crazy in that comp. This is what Gen G does. This is the problem when you play against Gen G. What Gen G will do is they'll play, for example, they'll play Renekton, or we'll, we'll do Cassante because it's keen. They do Cassante, Nidalee, uh, Lucian, let's say, right? And now you're like, hmm, an AP bot would be great. Well, Monosaka pays. We'll play Ziggs, Kai'Sa, Zeri or Seraphine. Or they'll play Senna Orn. So they'll find extra AP damage somewhere. Or mix damage. It's crazy. Like here, for example, Senna, Senna lane could work. Kai'Sa could work. AP champ. Or, um, or Seraphine. But I doubt Light's gonna play Seraphine. Oh my god. Blinding support here is sucks. You have to play fucking. Rel is okay. Maybe Rakan is better. Bro, I feel like Estril Brahm just fucks here, doesn't it? Oh, Estril Brahm is so fucking good. Don't do Alistar. Come on, Hong. Please lock in. Lock in. Estril. Come on, man. Come on, man. They have, they have Lucian, Varus, Leona. Does Hung play Brahm? We need to, we need to look into that. Does Hung play Brahm? In Hung's career, how many brown games are we talking? Okay, 19, 47%. He hasn't played it much this year, though. He's played two brown games this year. Is blue side just going to win every game in the series? No way. Where have I seen that before? Does Weibo have three pushing lanes early? There's no way they get side push, right? Yeah, he was having a really tough time. It didn't feel like he was on form. It felt like both of them slumped. Oh, dear. Similar time. Did he just queue him over the wall? What? Scout's gonna be set up here for potentially first blood flash over the wall. Scout looking to chase the stun. You can do that? The laning phase looked good. But you can do that on Maokai. You can knock them over that yeah, wall. The that one. The first few levels of the game it doesn't what? always last. It has been a stabilizing pick. It's a great pick for him mechanically. Oh he's just God. not been connected with his team. Wait, wait, he's just gonna stay in the mid lane. Scout gets the shield. It's oh. not enough. It's not enough against Xiao Hu. Finds the solo. He tried to pull the wave to make it crash. The problem is he has no vision, no vision. Yeah, Support's missing, top's missing, and he's walking up. This was just bad by him. Top and support are missing, and there's no wards. So the wave froze, which is really annoying. The worst part is Scout's about to hit 6 with flash, and Lucian has no flash. This is where the problem is, so he might go 1-3 in a sec. If Ezreal come back to lane now, they push out, and Rel gets one time move, or Maokai gets one time move from bot. Uh, Lucian's dead again. Tarzan is no flash doing Drake in front of Rel with thumbs up. Like, what is happening? Oh, you got it. 
comes out with his life. There's an ult though onto Hung and Wei Wei. Like, what is well. LNG doing, really? No, sorry, Weibo. And how is it working? The dragon. I think even Chris oh my god, he has no TP this either. Is nice. Weibo have three grubs. Scout has to recall. What is Weibo doing and how is it working? Ow. It, yeah, yeah, that, that that's the problem there. It's worth cancel it Azir's base. And now Azir is staying to catch the wave. On the bottom side like, Xiaohu's wave is in a terrible <laughs> spot, sure. <laughs> but both sides are missing. Game. Walks up and manages again. to pull off a one for one. Tarzan both. does dragon in river. It, it is, but I will say it's with not no a sums. Just yet. Gets the, the dragon, thing. dies, turns into a good fight. Like, how is this setup for Weibo even remotely good? On hit Varus is slowly is it slowly coming back or what? Take. Can't ever get the names right. It's been years at this point. Gala forced to flush in the mid lane by Xiaohu. Has a call oh, on the wall as well as pretty good. Xiaohu dives in. Drops the ward. At least it's City? something to answer for his death. I was actually wondering if he should just literally just stay there and take a while to die. He, he's going to take a while to die anyway. Um, all right, Gala's going to head on over. Wait, but what are they doing with this time? You, They're going to get grubs for it. Six is, grubs for Leona. It's pretty really good. As a jungler. Crisp is taking such an obnoxiously wow. long amount to, to go down. It means that... Well, Does Tarzan he have W up soon? Go Tarzan. Tarzan might actually... Guys, no. you know, Tarzan's ganky five. Five grubs for Weibo. Hug jumps in. Mm. To try and punish it. But the flash comes through, and now Crisp is here. He's back for more once again as Weiwei. Chase down. It's a good Magnus Storm from Hong, but no follow up so far. Gala has to be the one to carry for Zika. Jumps yeah, into the mix and gets one for himself. Go it's funny how, like, Ezreal and Malkai are showing here so chasing that's Leona. Gonna be really big to see if and Tarzan decides, instead of doing the objective that they're probably going to collapse for afterwards, also he goes to force top lane flash so they can get top push. And then he goes to it. Really, really he didn't just instantly shit the bed and go. That's the grubs. I thought she was running on a base. Because uh, Shao had no flash, a scout did. Scout was wondering whether he could shunt him back into his teammates. Couldn't quite get that. Breathe pulls the all out. Zick is already losing trades against Cassante pretty early on into this one. Level 11 for Breed. That's a Q3. That's sick. Of Dead. So chucked to oh! Breed. He makes it. Running to needs Black Cleaver to win. There's too much armor. Big problem. Yeah, I don't know why he has a clip. Dragon that used that five grubs to get this tower in the bot lane. Against Cassante. Seems kind of useless, lane. or? Deep. Yeah, it looks like well. a hard game for an NG now. Yeah. Renekton is really behind. Maybe some of these laners, I know 200 gold is not a lot, but the game state. We saw this in a couple of the with Lucian, the with Lucian Varus being this strong, Renekton is just going to walk into a fight and get shredded. As well. and Absolutely shredded. But Zika not... He doesn't want to run away. He keeps fighting. Just, hmm. I mean, Cassante just did a lot of damage to him, right? He walked back up, maybe yeah, he thought he could kill him. But Cassante did like 40% of his HP in like that healing two through, seconds. Didn't judge the cooldowns right. He Q3, Wait, auto, Q, auto, and that's he was basically dead, no? Like, it's crazy. To play around as the Herald, LNG looking to death push, maybe Scout does have the flash. Renekton got a ward right behind them. The I think they just have to take it. Can Scout get into the action? True Jump Raj is fantastic, and it's two for LNG. But there's the good. explosion. Tarzan's gonna go down as well. LNG <clears throat> really good by LNG. They set that up really well. Way you can even see with that ward, far. they gave they so many options for Renekton. LNG are hiding in them. They get themselves Very a huge nice. play. Take down three Greedy by Weibo. About Got Bren flash well. That two. helps a lot for the next dragon fight minutes. because there's no flash. I think the way that LNG has to win the next fight. Because they so have to take the next fight, is Azir has to clutch it. I yeah, yes, Maruma. <laughs> Oof, I think they're just gonna have to take the fight. They tried to sneak a ward here for Azir. Is Tarzan gonna sweep it? Yeah, he is. Oh no. They lost the ward for Azir. Now it's a lot harder to fight since Bren swept that. Just have to give. Wow, they're just gonna give them soul points. The only way LNG can win this is an Azir play. Azir has to make a mega play. I think Hong needs to sneak a ward somewhere. He's trying to sneak in wards, I think. You have Sapling. Yeah, he used Sapling. 9k. LNG are fine with this. If they lose the game on this, they don't care. This is a good chance for LNG comeback. Azir needs to TP in soon, though. Maybe he can hold his TP. Nah, he has to TP in. They got a zero TP. They have to take this fight to LNG. It's good. They're so low. They're going to try and pressure mid zero one. They traded Cassante flash for a zero TP. It's actually fine that a zero TP is right. Renekton can clear this wave base and go bot. And just catch here. It's really fine the scout TP. Azir is a bit jobless now, though. You can catch top wave like here. Not something LNG can afford to lose, and they know it. They start on to breathe as Christmas. This is good. Cassandra well. no flash. Nice thing by Gala. Renekton can maybe cook here. Riot. What? 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 
What? What is that? No, what is that from Casante? What? Scout, he needs to find the road. Ooh, Varus just won the fight. Dead. Oh, he dashed just out of time. Oh, Zika! Where's the damage? Scout's gonna have to find a road. He's gonna find a fatty ass road. Oh, Tarzan! That was clean by Tarzan. That was clean. The kills go away, Scout's E was coming up, and he had flash ult. He was about to fry them, but Tarzan Q E flashed, uh, Q flash E his face. Oh! They have double TP in ten. They gotta get ult. They gotta chase him here, LNG. To sacrifice Reeve, or not sacrifice, defend the president. Wow, they're out. Scoot, scoot, maybe you can find Bren. Oh my god, they're all out. Now, keep your eyes on Xiaohu. So Light's gonna ult Scout here at the bottom. But he stopwatches. Stopwatch from Scout's good, and he's just, just gonna dash it. out of the way of the Varus Q. Now, look at Xiaohu. Well. Xiaohu's movement here was pretty good. Ends up getting and then Tarzan is the one who just kind of beyond the Renekton pass. Like, it's much harder Tarzan's the one who cooked them in the past. Fantastic. Look at Tarzan here. Look at this. Keeps him alive Bang. as well. Gosh, the late game brand damage. We have seen that all year on this. I will say, energy are being Therefore, being so very competitive in fights in, like and getting Scout pretty good setup considering they've taken zero like towers. That That's zero. hard to play are against. Zero towers me? means waves <laughs> bounce faster. Yeah, let's just throw a hex at Gunblade while around. And you can get way less deep vision. They have no vision. Uh, they have no towers, sorry. How are they finding this much space with no towers in the game? They're literally in bot. <laughs> but it's crazy. The, the wave they pushed in is already bouncing. They have no bot push to play on. They can't threaten anything here. Oh, base. That TP could be a bit risky. Oh, what? Oh, they got it, they got it. What's Renekton and Cassante doing? I don't know why I thought Maokai stole that. The golden glow was crazy. Don't that Maokai... Oh, Scout! Ooh, he didn't find the roads. Oh, he cancelled the Cassante ult! <laughs> oh, well, he still got it. Oh my good god. Gala is absolutely frying. Untouched. Flashing like an absolute maniac. But it doesn't matter. I think you should be rewarded for stop watching a castable ult. Cassante ult should go on cooldown there. How is that fair? He actually outplayed him. How is he still... How is he not punished for ulting into a stopwatch? Really like his ball, animation actually goes off lead, having the baron as well as and then he comes back last dragon and then it goes off again it's like the map effectively i don't like the castables into a winning position I don't know. so let's go back to this again maybe it's just cassante i hate cassante gotta play these Zucker, fights so good single-handedly zones tars and away basically with the maokai ult big combo in the start i feel like scout just didn't need to do this you know I get Scout wants to dash in here. But did he need to do that? Maybe he didn't. So watch this ult. Watch this. He actually stopwatched it. Why is he not getting rewarded for that? He just gets ulted one second later. I don't know. I guess it depends on your take. Do you think that they should be punished or rewarded for that? Or not punished, but do you think they should get something of that? Yeah. Bro, the amount of Cassante ults I've seen in this game, I'm done. Colin has flash though and light doesn't, so light has to play. Look at how far back light is. They want this. They want this big time. Oh, didn't connect on Leona. I've been there, bro. Just a little bit, a little bit more. Would have had it. Yes, GA. I mean, they don't have rel flash. Oh, Varus will miss though. Bad timing. So I think it's still over, but yeah, they hold on for a bit. As the only rabbit on, they need to be really strong. And until then, he just doesn't have the damage. Also, this is just 
I don't know. How does he die? Unironically, oh, no, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, power. Gala mega inted, by the way. He completely trolled. Ooh, wait. Shao dead. Shao has to dash in here. He has rabbit on. Oh, it's Katana W. He didn't get through, though. Oh, Scouter. Oh, he got interrupted on his dash. He flashed, though. No. Is it over? Oh, yeah, Cassante's alive. It's over. Bro, this Cassante actually carried the game by himself. Gala's in five, though. But Gala won't do damage, will he? Gala's healing him. Hold! They need to go to Drake quick. No, no, no. Hold it, hold it, hold it. There's too many minions. They're going to end. It's over, by the way. It's over. There's too many minions. <laughs> There's too many minions. He can't clear them. Hold. Hey, yo, they can't clear them, can they? He's tanking them. Oh, he can just clear them. The wave respawned. He stood right in front of them to tank them and ran it and ulted them. <laughs> they must lose Drake here, though, right? I think they're going to come up and, and, and end the game now, Weibo. They're just waiting for light. They don't really have any tools left. No flash on Azir, no flash on Rel, no flash on Maokai. Uh, I think they can't touch the carries. Yeah, I, I, think I, I think I saw what Scout did as well. I'll check the replay. Nice damage on the Kassante. Oh my god. Where is the Brendel? Zika did a lot of work, actually. Considering he has no GA. Oh, Gala. <laughs> and they have a tower. Wait, wait, down. Yeah, I think it's... Uh... Just can't finish his oh my god, Gala's damage is crazy. Oh, the stopwatch. Gala's cooking, though. Nah, he can't cook that hard, though. Can't cook that hard. So watch what Scout does. He has Zonia's Void Staff, Nashor's uh, Needlessly Large Rod, right? He runs back to base. He dashes back. He opens shop. He sells Nashers. Buys Rabidons. And thinks, I need to kill them with my ult. So he comes out of base. And tries to max damage right now. Which, to be honest, Rabidons probably does out damage. I don't know actually though, for Azir. He probably thinks he won't get that much uptime. Up I mean, I think I, the reason he's doing this is for more AP on his ult, right? I think he, the reason he does this is... He probably thinks it's more damage, and he has flash ult, right? So he's probably thinking if he can just dash in and flash ult someone, he'll just do way more damage than if he had Nashers. So when he dies and he respawns, he comes out of base with a Blasting one and a Recurbo. Yeah, he couldn't really find an angle in these fights. This fight was horrible for him. He could have really cooked them all when he came out of base. But he didn't have E up. So he's just running at Tarzan, trying to kill him. WQ auto gets fleet, tries to ult Cassante, but of course Cassante W's it. And now he's already fucked because Leona just stuns him, so he's basically out the fight. No way did they give over Corky! No way did they give over Corky! No shot! No shot did they give over Corky! Why did they ban Yone? What is that? Why? Makes no sense, no? It's just a self ban at this point if they're gonna first pick Corky. Surely they take away Maokai, right? Surely. Don't do Nidalee, Tarzan. Don't do Nidalee. Why don't they take the Maokai? I wonder why they're not doing Ken and Vi. They like their Ken and Vi, don't they? I'm surprised they ban... These bans by Weibo look so weird, because what are you really forcing? You ban Yone, they first pick Corky. You ban Ivern, you don't blind pick Maokai. What is, like, the goal here? It's so you can play Nidalee, I knew it. Well, let's get rid of Ken and Vi then, shall we, if we're gonna do this? Maybe Vi? Maybe just Vi. That looked like Vi's... Looked like Tarzan's Kryptonite. I mean, if your player says, I want to play Nidalee game 5, trust me, I can pull it off. Varus Ben. Mm. Yeah, does, I mean, Light does play Ziggs, but, you know, he, um, he doesn't really play Ziggs, you know what I'm saying? Why don't they ban... I guess Vi is a bit unpickable without Kennen. I mean, I think Zika should go Poppy, and they should play, like, Poppy... Poppy Brand or some shit, shouldn't they? Or Poppy Lilia? Looks kind of good to me. But Zika would probably play Nar, wouldn't he? 
Kalista Verespen. I mean, it's 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 Kaiser fits. Uh, Jin doesn't fit that well. Uh, I mean, you could just pick support here as well if you want. I don't like Jin that much here. I would prefer something like Ziggs if you're gonna play a champ like that. Oh yeah, Ash is good. Ash is really good. Uh, I think it's is Zika gonna play Nar or Poppy or does he have something cooking like Jax? There's a Lilia. What top lane do you play here? Why is he smiling, that little rat? Yeah. It's definitely not a Quinn angle chat. Ooh, Sion! Are they gonna swap? Are they doing some kind of lane swap? Or like some late invade? Hmm. And see what Weibo are bringing to bear with them. Both of these teams have ample engage. Some interesting ways to play out the early game as well. You kind of Who do you think wins game five? <laughs> There's only one team on blue side, and blue side is 4 0. Plus, blue side has the Corky. And Shaohu, mm, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I would say maybe LNG wins this, yeah. He must be forcing bot push for a bot side invade because they have a ward here which must have spotted Lilia so that Nidalee can clear her camps and match Lilia on bot side and Bram can be first on the move. And Zeri can be first on the move as well if he needs to be. So they flash in bot to push so that they can move. What can he do to him? Lilia started on wolves. Mm, maybe it was a plan no matter what. Oh, he's not in the bush. Oh my god, Tarzan. Damn. Tarzan can just clear, clear. Oh, he should probably invade the crux as well, I think, though. Yeah, it's not the end of the world for Hui Hui. So Tarzan gets red buff and two quadrants, but he doesn't do his blue buff, and I wonder why he doesn't do his blue buff. Is it so he can get his Krug respawn on time to cycle the level 2 Krugs faster? Maybe if he... Ah, uh, is it so he can invade this? Nah, there's no way he can invade that, right? If he, if he does Raptors now, he gets 5, Lilia's 4, and then maybe he can overstay and invade this. Maybe that's like a plan here? No, he's just gonna base. I thought that he was gonna run here, but I guess he's not in time. 14 straight wins in a row for Corky and LPL. Really? Corky has 14 wins in a row? To be honest, this Scion's doing pretty good. He went to blue now, and now he's going to go on spawn for Grubs. And I guess when he finishes Grubs, his Krugs are up or what? Is this why he did Krugs over blue? So he could have his topside camp spawn at a nice time after Grubs? Rather than a little bit later or some shit? Is this going to line up perfectly or what? I don't know what his Krug timer is. But I'm guessing they're up in, like, soon. Oh, we smited that one there, Tarzan. He's going to lose one. So now do his Krug spawn? Oh my god, is it worth it? <laughs> Actually, no, you can't sometimes. Thought some kind of flash spear from the side would be cool. Man, I, I feel like Tarzan's control around lanes on Nidalee is really strong. Like when he, like the game, the, was it game one where he like obviously lost, but his early game was very strong in controlling lanes. As much as he made a mistake that snowballed the, the, doom, the doomsday of the game. The, the he definitely did a lot of work because they have got Scion, Corky, Estreliona, and these champs are <laughs> together <laughs> actually kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, winner faces Tess. Winner of that series goes to Worlds. So, five grubs is strong. They haven't done any Drakes yet. I mean, it's, I think it's on Weibo to do Drakes, I think, with this bot matchup. Ash Brahm into Estreliona, I think they, they, they can control bots as much as they want. Scion will be useless. Nah, the Scion will build full armor. He won't build against Nidalee at all. Maybe if he's ahead, he'll do one item, but he's just going to go full armor and stand in front of these AD carries and running them. Running that's by Cleaver, which is good. It's going to be a while before Seri Ash get armor pen. I'm surprised how even the Scion is. Like, no impact has happened top from either jungler. But Scion is actually, like, he's actually in a pretty good spot, I would say. Maybe it doesn't get bad until now because of Black Cleaver. Shouldn't Zeri be going Blade of the Rune King? Yeah, you're right, I think. I mean, surviving she should. Yeah, why isn't she doing that? Yeah, I don't know. He's going static into into Hurricane. Fine. Worst case, he has a TB back bot. Right. Here comes the Diamond Sion. Shouldn't be too hard. First bite to Tarzan. Nice spear. Mid tier one, top tier one. Weibo playing on two lanes. And then you get bots. Okay. Good place, good place, good place by Weibo. Maybe they're gonna break the blue side curse. Tarzan is just running this game. You give Tarzan three pushing lanes, he's just annihilating Weiwei. 
He's a level up. He's taken every neutral objective in the game apart from one grub. He tried to match him as much as possible around the map. Basically one bot for his team. I think that having one Drake at 15 and the next one spawning two minutes kind of sucks, but it's whatever. Ay, ay, ay. Nice cue flash from Brown. Can they commit to this though? The sleep's going to hurt here. Oi, oi, oi. Is this Weibo over chasing again? And then throwing the game? It is, it is way more we're chasing again and throwing the game. Oh, he the slow missed. Scout flashed over the slow. Does he have W? Two big kills for LNG there. One of them going to Corky was very nice. Yeah, there's no cleanse on Zeri, and she is against Leona Lilia. So if they can hit her with something, it's quite easy to kill Zeri. I mean, look at this. Sleepy time. What can Zeri do, right? She's not playing cleanse. Slap forever, E, Q. I mean, Weibo sleep won't mean much soon. They're going to get all three outers, though. Can, I feel like LNG, to be honest, I think LNG maybe just gives this and takes top tier one if they can. They could try a fight. They have Lilia flash, but I think the easy call is taking top tier one if you can. Like here, I think, si I mean, you would lose this, right? You'd have Sion run here and just ult on Renekton with no flash with Leona hovering. <laughs> That's and getting this top tier one, but Sion's running bots, so... I think they'll just give Drake for free then. I already think Sion shadowing Corky here. And Leona moving up. Obviously we have perfect vision, but I think that's what they should be looking at. It's now what happens. You lose mid push, you lose bot push, you lose top push, you lose Drake, you might lose this bot tier one anyway. I really think they should have overloaded top here and punished this flash. And tried to take it. And Sion can TP bot if they go for tier two. I think this bot tier one's dead. Dragon. Oh yeah, they have Herald actually. Really Forgot that Herald. The winner of Tess yeah. versus winner of this doesn't necessarily yeah, go to Worlds. If Weibo sale, or LNG win, win against win Tess, anyway, but lose to BLG, Tess still has more championship points. Really? So you're telling me that Weibo or LNG to go to Worlds, they have to win because Tess has way more points? Okay, so Tess is kind of locked Worlds. The only way Tess doesn't make Worlds is if Weibo or LNG win the split. And then basically these two teams will fight in... Uh, in regionals then is it two spots out of regionals then it is two spots for some reason in my head i don't know why i thought it was two finalists plus championship point highest plus one regional team because the regional thing is like best of five 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 and you're just seated higher depending on where you're at i guess right so i guess weibo who has more points i guess ellen lng maybe because of summer they're probably going to be here and weibo will be here and uh uh, I'm guessing JDG... Actually, no, they have to play against each other, don't they? Because I remember Tess versus EDG, then they played Weibo last year. So it's not actually like a straight gauntlet, is it? There is like losers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just... I need to see the image of it. But who has more points, Weibo or LNG? Weibo has more points, okay. Man, I'm, I'm worried for Weibo. I think there's... Let's see if they can get Baron. If they can do a really good... If they can get Baron, then I think they're fine, but... If Estro can get Muramana and Corky gets his RFC or whatever, I actually think it's pretty loseful for Weibo. The Sion is just annoying as fuck. He has no MR other than Boots. Is he building... Why is he building second? Is he just gonna go Thornmail or what? With a, with a giant spell? Yeah, don't forget Weibo have five grubs, so there's always a world where, you know, LNG overload this. And Weibo can play through top, take this, uh, pressuring two lanes if they try and go through bot or something. I swear, Nidalee is also very annoying to play against at this point in the game when they're ahead, because all she does is go Horizon Focus, Landry's, and put traps everywhere. And you get hit by a fucking trap, you, your health bar just bleeds. So here is where I think LNG could, uh, Weibo could be a bit more up here. And while they're all coming through here to get the Drake, Crisp and Tarzan maybe can hover, or lighten... Crisp, and then they can move into Zeri's lane and take top tier two and then play on mid top or something. But Hung went in for some reason, so he's dead. Not sure why Hung went in there. Wasn't his team positioning terrible? They used double TP for this as well, so now they're going to lose top tier two and the Drake. That's mega for Weibo. Low and steady. Weibo breaking the, the blue side curse. Man, Tarzan is... Uh, why does Hong go in here? His Sion's catching bot wave, Rennington's missing from bot and could be anywhere. And Cork is pressing B, so why does he go on them? Why is he doing that? 
The bomb shield is not bad. And it's they know they're not on Drake. Uh, I think what he was worried about is they're losing mid push. How is Chris dead? Is it an upset if Weibo win? Nah, I wouldn't say it's an upset. I think LNG and Weibo and I mean Tess is a weird team. It's a small exception. But the LPL, t like BLG and the LPL, other three in the top four are quite close in skill level, even though they're ranked differently in the standings. Like Tess, LNG, Weibo are all are all. I thought like there's a big gap between them. Awa. Ooh, they slept Zeri, but they had a blast gun for her. Oof, he lost his flash, but. <laughs> he likes to flash into it. I mean, the, the game's decided in 1 minute 30 seconds, right? It's like that Drake is going to decide the game. I think if Weibo get Mountain Soul, it's just it's just Jover, isn't it? How do you lose with Mountain Soul? It's too OP. How does Weibo... Uh, how does LNG fight then? I mean, like... What is Scala doing? Why is he stepping up like that? Operation Kill Zeri is a go. Does Hung not have the health threshold for the Warmox to proc? He doesn't, right? The Warmox isn't even going to proc on Hung. He doesn't even have the Warmox threshold. Ah, those nerves hurting. No Ruby Crystal? No Ruby Crystal? Alright, Lilia flash QR needs to be big. Tarzan didn't hit Spear, they should finish. Ooh, nice roll seat. Big sleep by Weiwei, big sleep. Oh, Weiwei's one tap though. Yeah, Baron's gone. Again, but much like that last nice time, by Weibo, really nice. Devs, they're so patient, aren't they? The they let Renekton get bot tier 2 and drop the Drake and then fought the after? So Very patient from Weibo. They don't care about the Drake. They're like, yeah, have it. We want bot tier 2. They get bot tier 2 and then he TPs in. I feel like LNG could have got out if they wanted to. Clean by Breathe. Very nice. Nice positioning by Light. Good fight by Breathe. Happy tanking the wave in. He's there, he gets to keep it away from turret. Now they go for the engage. Okay, it's onto Chris, though. That's not what you need. Oh, light. Oh, light. Yes, LDR, right? Wow, Weibo are gonna knock out LNG. That's crazy. It's crazy that they're gonna knock out LNG. LNG are gonna have to qualify through um, the regionals, i.e., on scout. Man, Breed has had a good series, I'm not gonna lie. GG, easy. Tarzan gets his revenge on LNG. That's crazy that Tarzan gets his revenge. So now Weibo go to face top esports. That must be mega nice for Tarzan. Especially when they're down 2-1. In LNG's home stadium. Oh, hell nah. Oh, hell nah. There's no way Tarzan just beat his own his old team in their own stadium. Yeah. I think I'm impressed by Breathe this series. And uh, I think Hung was disgusting in some of these games.